Yeah, you know, and I feel like the fact that the ICC issued the arrest warrant for Putin probably ended up hurting Israel because then you have these two conflicts juxtaposed and they're like, okay, you did, did this for Putin for something that's kind of unclear what really happened and there was no real investigation, moving children out of a war zone. Um, and then you have the what's happening in Gaza, which is just so blatant that I yeah, feel like the ICC- in large numbers, right. right. Killing thousands of children, blowing them up, martyring thousands of them that are lost limbs or are you know dying, thousands of children that are, are just hostages. So it, it, it kind of feels like that might put pressure on the ICC. It's like if we want to survive as an institution, yeah. you know, well, as a that's court, right. that's an important <laughs> point. You know, I was giving some reasons why this decision might have been made. And I think that has to be considered too. It's just that some people said, hey, if you don't do this, it's just, it's over. You're already, you know, your reputation's already tattered, but this will be the, the death of your institution. You know, just, you'll become, you know, just universally regarded as, as a, a joke. And they may have felt that pressure too. And they said, okay, yeah, we just got to do this. We don't want to, but we've got to do it.